What a great day to celebrate 146 years of graduates finishing their time at Keystone College and stepping out into the world to make a positive difference. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, spouses, cousins, friends, neighbors, and companions, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting these graduates in their quest to attend and to succeed at Keystone College. The sacrifices that you have made both emotionally and financially will have a long-lasting positive effect for the next, I believe, 100 years on your families and communities. In particular, parents, when you let your sons and daughters go, when you let them fly and test out their own wings, when you encourage them to come to Keystone, you gave them a chance at a life now full of possibilities as they join more than 17,000 alumni found in every walk of life in this community, in this region, and in the world. And students, thank you for trusting in the Keystone Promise and selecting us. Thank you for choosing to persevere when others left. Thank you for giving your best, even when you weren't sure what your best was or what direction you wanted to go. Thank you for making this college your college, a brilliant beacon of progress through effort, our motto. You believed in us, you belonged to and persevered in a thoughtful community, and now you've become bright adults, full of promise and promises kept. And along the journey, I know that you've made friends for life and learned with top-notch professors and teachers. Thomas Edison is often credited with the invention of a practical light bulb in his laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey, where he and his team tested more than 3,000 designs for light bulbs between 1878 and 1880. One of the designs was a mason jar, and they basically put some incandescent wires in there. As you can tell, it didn't quite make it, didn't make the cut. But that's how it started out. And then eventually, most of you have probably heard of the company that he started in 1892 called General Electric. The company contributed greatly to the development of the electrification of railways in the late 1800s, which was a boom for this area. And General Electric, GE as it became known, eventually became a diversified worldwide company but before 1979, its image was primarily that of incandescent light bulbs and an appliance company. But around 1979, General Electric sought to focus on its diversity of products and services and developed the marketing phrase, we bring good things to life. But you can't help but think about lights, right? But yeah, we bring good things to life. The brand promise was a reflection of a company that had moved beyond its origins as an electric generating company and maker of electric appliances. GE's current articulation is imagination at work. Imagine at, uh, imagination at work. And that highlights that appliances and numerous conveniences have brought new life and imagination into our own lives. But I have to admit, in my mind, GE is still mostly about light bulbs. <laughs> in truth, we live our lives around light. Sunrises, sunsets, moonlight, lightning, or when we were children fearful of the dark, night lights gave us comfort. Other kinds of important lights are traffic lights, or those red flashing lights of a police car behind your car. I'm sure you've never had that experience. Or maybe more playful lights, such as birthday candles, holiday lights, street lights on a summer's day, illuminating a kickball or a stickball game, or the ray of a flashlight hitting us during a child's game of flashlight tag. But one of my favorite lights is nature's summer lights, sometimes called lightning bugs or fireflies. As a young boy, I remember catching fireflies in a glass jar, something like this. Isn't it great to use a prop twice? I love it, you know? And I put a top on it, poke a few holes in so the fireflies could breathe, 
then shake it up gently to provoke an increased glow from within. Scientists call this kind of light produced by these small insects bioluminescence. Now there's a Jeopardy word for you, right? Bioluminescence, the, the night lights of nature. And it seems that life is destined to produce light. Life is destined to produce produce light since bioluminesc bioluminescence has arisen more than 40 times in evolutionary history. So today, metaphorically speaking, bioluminescence has evolved 350 times in the history of each and every one of you graduates. Although we saw you dimly at the beginning of your college journey, we now clearly recognize you, bright lights going into a world that definitely needs some illumination. A Keystone College education enables you, sure, to know the important facts and skills to get a good job, but also helps you integrate the sensibilities, the virtues, the context of learning for a career or profession so that you know how to think, you know how to learn, you know how to live a life of meaning and purpose. Measure your life of meaning by the light that you share. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. Not money, not power, not popularity, not material goods, <laughs> not social status. None of these ever-changing and dimly perceived things will ultimately matter. Measure the meaning of your life by the light that you share. So it seems that Keystone College also brings good things, good ideas to life and to light. And we, we bring good people together to create a better life. And yes, we are also imagination at work. We are where we critically and creatively continue the great conversation that began thousands of years ago. Apparently, catching fireflies is something of an archetypal kind of experience, since Julie Brinklow, in her 1985 children's book, also tells of a young boy who is proud of catching a jar of fireflies which seemed to him like owning a piece of moonlight. But as the lights began to dim, he realized that he must set the fireflies free or they'll die. Similarly, Keystone College is a bit like catching lightning bugs or fireflies. We were drawn to the light of your talents and your gifts, and we believed in your potential we gently shook you up a little in an organized way and let you shine together. And now we confidently set you free to bring light, intelligence, compassion, goodness, and beauty to the world. Ironically, we caught you, we caught you up, and now you have captured our hearts and we're beaming with pride for you. We started together this class we, uh, I'm on the, the, the long-term plan, right? Um, you're, you're graduating in four years, congratulations. You know, I'm uh, on the long-term plan here. But um, I know that your light will make a significant difference in the world. And may I suggest that you generously share your light today and make a special effort to show your gratitude to your parents and family and friends and teachers and all those who made this day possible. Being thankful and grateful is a beautiful sharing of the light. By the way, uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day. Hint, hint. Okay. And so, graduates, we, you didn't know that? It is tomorrow, yeah. So, graduates, today we celebrate you and your families as one community comprised of many diverse members. And if along the way you or we have been careless or thoughtless, or we've let you down, then let us know so we can try to make it right. Okay? It's never too late to repair a wrong. It's never too late to reconcile, to choose wholeness and healing. We are convinced that it's better to live a generous life, an examined life, an interdependent life, a virtuous life, lived in the light of truth and forgiveness. And when one of you succeeds, invite others into your success. And when another fails or suffers, be there to help and support each other. So finally, I invite you to a nurture, I invite you to nurture a heart that is willing to learn something new every single day. 
be open to surprises. Think critically and creatively, forgive quickly, and be unafraid to wrestle with impasse or difficult issues. Don't take the easy way out. Live your lives fully in a profession, a career, a cause, a community, a promise, and make your heart and home full of light and song as we have tried to do here in this caring and dynamic college. I hope that you'll come back to visit us often. Look for the fireflies and the fiery sunsets and the leaves that appear to blaze in late autumn every year. They signal a new academic year has begun at Keystone College and come back to enjoy homecoming weekends. Friends, as humans, we are destined to emanate light. And when we kindle kindness, when we generate goodness, when we shed a little light, we also experience the kindness and goodness and light ourselves. In a world that is often dimly lit, we are connected. We are connected in our imagination and our hope. And we bring good things, good people, good ideas to life. We can feel it pounding in our hearts this day especially, that we're bound together in this task. And we share the road that is lit for all of us. So just shed a little light wherever you go, so that its warmth and inspiration will have a lasting effect in your relationships and the world.